Hey everyone, let's have a quick chat about version control by Dexter Palmer. And I'm really not sure whether I'm more annoyed or impressed by the book. The reading experience was rather weird. It dragged on at times and I was pretty annoyed by nothing happening. Where at other times I was really impressed at what happened and what they did. So the story is set in a not so far future. We mainly follow Rebecca and we learn a lot about her life and her husband Philip and her friends and things that are going on. We also learn a lot about the world. Self-driving cars are pretty normal nowadays and we have this weird president who keeps cutting in into TV shows and telephone conversations and yeah, he's always addressing you personally. These are the things that are around us then we mainly learn about Rebecca's life, about her past, how she met her husband, how she spends her days and her circle of friends. And that is the part that is the first half of the book where I was really annoyed at points. Rebecca is not a very likable person at points and sometimes she really got on my nerves and the descriptions really dragged on. What really struck me in the beginning was how much the drinks were described. Like every situation where there was a drink and there was always a drink, it was described at length. And you pretty soon gather that Rebecca has a strong relationship to alcohol and drinking. And this is part of her personality and her life. So this is mainly the beginning of the book. You get to know a lot about Rebecca, but you're like, what is this story about? What you also get is a lot of commentary on the social life, how the internet and all these things changed that, how smartphones and online dating and all of these affected society. And there is, yeah, good commentary, but pretty superficial. So at some point at the beginning, I was sort of annoyed that this book is scratching at everything. It seemed like an overload of topic, an overload of things to comment, criticize and analyze. But there was no real story progressing. Like I was really lacking a plot. At the side, there was always Philip's project. He's a physicist or a scientist and he's working on something that we just call time machine now because I keep forgetting the word. And this is at the center of the story, what actually happens. Everything else is just byproduct, it feels. And this is the amazing and interesting part, the concept they think of for time traveling, how it changes the future, the past, the effects time travel has on people. And this is interesting. This is the part where I thought this is a good idea, but everything around it just dragged on. And of course, as it is often with time travel books, you have a central event that people keep trying to change or want to alter. And since this book is called version control, you can already expect that you see the same story more than once. And once that happened, the first time things changed a little bit. It was really interesting and super well done. And for a while I was really drawn into the story, but then it got on and on with descriptions again and even more drinking. And I honestly don't know if I'm just sensitive and being annoyed by that or if it's meant to be like that. I really don't know. Anyways, so the story is rather slow. You don't really know where it wants to go. And even the ending, I'm, I'm not sure I really liked the ending. I don't think I liked where it went. The characters, I can't really pick one I really liked and rooted for. They all had some really bad habits and characteristics. I didn't really like how the women in general were portrayed. Not, a, not an, I can't really put my finger on it what I didn't like about it. It was just somewhat stereotypical and somewhat lame. And I don't know, the characters were annoying. The story was slow, but nevertheless, I keep thinking if I could sit through it again, I would probably get more out of it. Despite the dragging descriptions, the overanalyzing of stereotypes, I don't know. This is a rambly review. Let me know in comments if you've read the book. Oh, I listened to the audiobook. Have I mentioned that already? The audiobook was really well done. The narrator does a good job, but still 18 hours was long.